Hi there, it's Sally from Wicked Snippets here and today I have a lovely shabby valentine box to show you um, so you can keep all your uh, valentine ephemera in it or your, um, your love letters <laughs> um, or perhaps create a valentine journal to go inside um, so we've got lots of uh, bits of ephemera to, to decorate the box um, and then we have the elements of the box themselves which is what we need first of all just to one side um, so you should have, for the box, you should have um, a top piece and a bottom piece and then uh, two small sides for the top of the box and two long sides for the top of the box and then the same for the bottom. Um, so the first thing to do is to score lines on all of these, uh, on these sides of the box. So you have one in the middle and then uh, you need to score along the lines next to the flaps. Um, so the smaller ones have, have more flaps than the big ones. But um, So you need to grab a... Uh, you need to score with and a ruler and just score along those lines. And then you're going to, for each one, you're going to fold fold along those lines and then you can give them a bit of a sweep with the bone folder just to make them nice and crisp. Uh, so I'm going to go away and do that. Before, before I do that I should say that all of the printables are in the Rickety Snippet shop for this kit um, and I have printed everything out onto 200 GSM cardstock. If your printer will take a thicker cardstock, probably the thicker the better for this one, um, to make it nice and robust. Um, and then I have very lightly inked all of the edges with Distress Ink. Um, so I'm going to go and score all the lines, fold all the paper, and then I'll be back. Okay, so once you've scored and folded all your pieces, you just need to sort them into um, top and bottom of box. So anything with a flower on is for the top of the box. One of those. And anything with this kind of lacy pattern is for the bottom of the box. There we are. So let's start with the bottom. So first of all, uh, you need your base, which is going to turn over, um, so the white side is facing up. And we're going to start by gluing the long sides on. Um, so we need to put glue on uh, this tab, um, so on the side with the, the pattern on it. Um, so as close to the edge there as you can get it, and then just liberally over the rest of the tab and then I'm going to line that right up with that at the edge of the base just check it on the other side it looks pretty good uh, and then the same with the other side And then we're going to put the small pieces on. Um, so again, glue along the tab, just the big tab at the top. Line that up. And then 
think you've got it. Just bring the sides out to double check that it's in the right place. And then the final piece. Just checking it's in the right place, it looks okay. And then the next step is to put is to glue, put some glue on uh, these side tabs on either side of one of these long pieces. So again, try and get the glue near the edge, um, so you get a really good fit on the edges of your box. And then we're just going to bring the long edge up and attach it, secure it to the to the tab on both sides there. And then I'm just going to turn it and smooth it from inside. Have to make sure we've got a good bond there. And then same on the other side. So a bit of glue on the tabs. Up. And then I'm going to again just smooth it from inside, make sure that it's properly stuck. And the next step is to put a bit of glue on from on the inside of those tabs. So just easy to get on camera. Probably. I don't know if you can see, but um, I'm just going to put some glue right over the tab again on that inside of the box, and then some glue on this this folded bit, this flap. And then just fold that inwards and then smooth it down inside the box. And align your edges, your sides. And again, same thing, some glue on the tabs inside. And then just a bit of glue on that flap and be folded inside our box. Give it a good smooth inside against the table. There we are. And then so all there is to do then is to put a bit of glue on either side here. Fold that in. They don't need ever such a lot of glue really to fold it in because they pretty much stay on their own. The main thing is to um, secure those tabs inside and you're sticking those long edges on yeah. good smooth there we are so that's the bottom of our box and then uh, we make up the top of the box in exactly the same way um, just the same, just a little bit bigger, the top of the box. So again, turn it over, start with your long sides, glue right up to the edge again. Line it up at the top. That 
that's it so I'm going to do the same again on the other side and then put the small bits on as I did for the bottom um, so I'll do that speedily <laughs> so you don't have to sit through all that again So we have a top and a bottom for our box. Uh, check they fit together. There we go. Um, if you wanted to, you could line your boxes so you could print out the images from the top and the bottom, and then just trim them a little bit and stick them inside, which will give you a nice finish to your to the inside of your box. Or you can, of course, use any um, other papers that you have to line it. Um, so we're going to decorate the top of the box. So we have this long pocket going to sit right over the box so it mirrors the uh, pattern underneath and I'm going to just round the edges a bit of the top that we have on the bottom uh, so you don't have to do this um, and if you haven't got um, a punch you could cut it with scissors or you could just leave it as a, um, a right angle edge if you don't want to do that but I think that looks quite nice so I'm going to put some glue on the top and the bottom of this piece and also along this straight edge a good job of that so it's quite a big pocket edges and then just give it a good smooth from inside so that you don't damage the box by passing on it from this side. There we are, so that's our pocket. We have a couple of small pockets to go within our big pocket. Um, so we're going to make up a pocket with these three pieces um, and then a smaller pocket with these two. So this is going to be just a little top loading pocket, a double sided image there. Um, so I'm going to actually uh, take a little notch out of the top of this one. And then I'm going to slightly ink this just where that notch is going to sit on the other one. And then just some, put some glue on both sides and down uh, on the bottom as well. Cherubs, and we've got uh, a little bird in a cage, another bird in a cage, let's put the little bird in the cage in there, there'll be two, a cherub and a bird in the cage, <laughs> there we are, that's just a little sweet pocket, have them peeking out the top, and then this one, we'll start by gluing, actually we won't, we'll start by gluing that piece, onto here, so just over the white um, bit of that page. So again, just a bit of glue on the top and the bottom 
and down this long straight side. Have into that edge um, so you can see it but you could have it so it disappears a little bit more because it will match up with the pattern underneath if you want to do that um, I quite like seeing that shape uh, and then on the back I'm just going to glue that edge down um, or you could turn that into another pocket you could leave a side open or the top open um, but I'm just going to turn it into a kind of postcard So you have a little bird in a cage. Uh, you put these cherubs inside. There we are. There we go. So we can go in our big pocket. Um, if I'm peeking out, we'll maybe have um, a bit of an angle so you can see all those, those nice images. Um, and then I'm going to put this one, I think, actually on that. Make another pocket. Where am I? I want to do that. Can't decide. <laughs> um, so we also have some embellishments and lots of hearts to choose from here. Um, and you could have a, a nameplate, so you could write the name of your uh, your Valentine on there. <laughs> What's that? Perhaps if it's uh, a gift for someone. Uh, so that could go there. We might put that on the side actually. Quite, quite there. Let's have it overlapping. Let's have too many. Too many hearts. Do we have too many hearts? Smaller one. Yeah, we could do that. So maybe I'll round those edges again as well. So I'll just make a little. So yeah, just glue top and bottom. No, top and two sides. Bottom and two sides, I'm saying. <laughs> um, oh, I've missed an edge as well. Um, so we've got quite a few hearts to put around the box um, so you can obviously choose wherever you like to put those. Put another one up there. some on the side maybe. Okay, that's quite nice to have. I think I'm going to stick this label this side. That's at the bottom or at the front, whichever way you look at it. And maybe have a little part in the corner as well. It's nice to choose from, that's the problem. on it obviously I would recommend you do that before you stick it down because that would be quite awkward to do that I'm going to cover up that 
now I can. And then you have one, put that somewhere. Here in that corner. Over there. Yeah, let's put it in that corner. You could overlap them if you wanted to. spaces for them all um, so that's it that's our valentine's box um, i hope you enjoy it uh, and happy valentine's